Um, first, I want to say that my heart goes out to everybody who's been affected by it, and especially to the survivors of the shooting who now have to live with the trauma and the victims of it. Um, you know, I really feel like it's important that Congress does something regarding this because the way I see it, it was preventable. I think it's always welcome and good to talk about, um, you know, offering thoughts and prayers to the families or talking about school security or even mental awareness. I think that is all welcome and needed, but I think the elephant in the room is gun control. And I really think if um, Congress comes together and passes some sort of legislation ensuring that people with mental illnesses or um, any other type of um, condition such as that do not are not able to get guns. Just anything that will keep our community safer, I think, is really important and should be a big priority for Congress. I agree with Smitha as well. So I feel as though the correlation with guns and Congress is not really aligning correctly because from since the beginning of January 2018, we've had so many mass shootings and that's becoming, it's becoming an epidemic. But at the same time, why is it an epidemic that you have so many schools and public facilities and many young children or adults are losing their lives? So this is becoming a huge issue. I feel as though in order for Congress to act on the issue of gun control, I feel as though they need to understand their own people, they need to understand the people, what they're coming from. Because from the Florida shooting, you've had at least 17 students lose their lives, but yet why? Why are they losing, and why are innocent lives being lost over someone who is having the opportunity of purchasing these guns? Why is it the fact that, why is it so easy to purchase an AR-15 when an AR-15 is a gun that's mainly used just for killing people? It's becoming too easy for someone to just walk into a store and purchasing these guns. At the same time, the gun industry is making so much money off of this. So it's not becoming fair to the people that as long as the people who are purchasing these guns and the gun industry is making money, it doesn't matter. So it's not fair to the public that their, their family members, their mothers, fathers, daughters, sons are losing their lives. So there has to be some sort of change in order for this to stop.